All right, we're gonna make some baits from some old Cinco's and flukes. Amazon was nice enough to accidentally send me this mold for four Cinco's. Um, I didn't pay for it. Don't know, it just ended up showing up here yesterday. And yeah, so we got an assortment of colors. Um, very little pink in there. It's like a rainbow, rainbow trout Cinco. Um, I don't know what this is going to look like. I think it's going to look like crap, but we're going to do it. We're going to go out fishing tomorrow and make a few Cinco's, maybe make a jig trailer. Um, I'll probably be using a Bass Union jig, um, maybe a flipping jig for this and uh, throw it in heavy cover. All right. So it, it turned out green pumpkin. Uh, really light though. Uh, there's still some chunkies in there. It's not quite the temperature. Um, I watch a lot of videos on how to do this. And it uh, seems like everybody's using more of like, or going up to like, like 350 degrees. And I'm at 325, 323. I'm going to give it a little bit more. I might add some more color to that. I'm not sure yet. And... Alright. So we're about 360 degrees. It smells a little burnt. Whatever. Put a glove on because this gets hot. Try it out. See how much we can make. By the way, do not ever buy a Harbor Freight Vice. They suck. So I learned just to keep a little pressure on this, try and get all the air out of it and fill it up. It's like a little bit of a sprue up there. Keep a little pressure on it. It's a mess. It's a mess. Throw that back in there. Uh, it's already starting to solidify. And that's with these, the top always comes off. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Somebody tell me. Mind you, this is like my first video ever doing this, so I'm not really entirely sure what I'm doing or what I'm saying because I don't normally talk to myself. I know the neighbor was just out here and we call him naked guy because he's always half naked every time we see him. All right, so it seems like it's probably cool enough to release. We're gonna release this little creature bait oh. that's actually a pretty cool color it's very uh I might have some of that blue dye stick into it but it's actually like a cool green I don't know I'll let that sit in there and cure god I suck at this whole video crap and then there's the Senko Filled up all the way. I actually really like this color. You know, I said before I wasn't going to add anything to it, but I feel like this is def definitely missing some red. So I got this glitter. Gl glitter. From, uh, it's extra fine. I just got it from Walmart. It's not toxic, so that's cool. I'll just put a little bit in there. Nah, a little bit more. Talking real quiet because I feel like a dummy and if anybody's listening to me around the block, then I feel real stupid. So, the first run was this weird green color. Get something white on there. It was a weird green color. Well... Turned out green because it sucked up the rest of the dye from my last pours that I did or whatever. But now they're looking like that. So, I mean, you can see a big difference in color. I like that green though still. So, maybe in the future, well, it'd be hard to match this color again because I don't really remember what I put in there. But um, these ones look more like... Uh, 
you had glitter for dinner and well that's the next morning but throwing these out matches that jig pretty well oh didn't mean to hit record again so it's been like three days since i made those baits no nah, it's been like four days i'm out here now finally so there's what i got rigged up that Cinco, well, I forgot to put softener in there. And it's, it's, I was using so many different kind of plastics. If I would have put a softener in there, it would have been a lot better. This little jig trailer, I don't think it matters too much. I'm gonna throw them both. But then today I was like, screw it. I took a bunch, I just made this blue with some black flake in it. And that's also remelt. I'm gonna throw them all. See what will happen. I'm gonna get to a better spot and uh oh there's that's cool. Start by throwing some uh I'll we'll throw the jig for a little bit. I got my my dog with me. My wife didn't want to come. She said I'm not gonna catch any fish. She's probably right. I figured if I'm not catching anything after a little bit off the jig, I'm gonna throw the jig first. Pretty grassy, but it's a heavy cover jig, I think. <clears throat> I feel like it's been forever since I went fishing this whole chest mount thing makes my titties pop out there's a lot of weeds right there clean I don't throw the blue. I don't even know what color. It's just blue and black flake, really. It's all remelt. Before I put any blue pigment in it, I, uh, it was like a milky brown, I think. And I just threw some blue pigment in there and some black flake that's all i did <clears throat> i don't know why i'm so gassy All right, that's a fish right there. All right, this big sloppy son bitch over here looks good. I usually like throwing a spook in shallow, shallow clean water, but it kind of scares me when other people do and they try and set the hook right away and you got these big old hooks flying at your face. You're about to dive off the side of the boat. See your life flashing before your eyes. That scared the shit out of me. I don't think you're allowed to cuss on YouTube. But I'm a nobody, so I think I can. All right, I'm done. Look at mosquitoes. Well, you guys seen how I did this shit. Guy pulled up when I was putting the boat back on the trailer and asked how I did. I wanted to punch him in the face. Um, he told me, he, he gave me his blessings. I wish he would have before I went fishing because uh, maybe it would have caught something. Um, I'd like to thank my mom for uh, most likely being the only viewer of this video. I love you, mom. Um, I'm gonna go home now and cry. 
probably lie to my wife. Say I caught like 20. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right. Um, usually the guys go like this when they're done making videos. So I'm just going to wave goodbye.